What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. After seeing many leaks and blurry images, today I can finally show you the first two Technic sets of the second half year and I have so many things to share. One month ago we had the recognized LEGO Fambedia days and I had a chance there to talk to two great guys from the LEGO Technic design team, Milan Reynel and Samir Taki. They shared cool details about the 42128 heavy duty tow truck and the 42129 4x4 Mercedes Zetros trial truck, so let's get started. But wait, instead of starting with the official photos, why don't we simply check this box here? So, here are the two sets, and none of these boxes are actually very small. So, let's take a look at the details. But I have to tell you one thing in advance, I would love to show you what is in these boxes, but I just can't do it yet. I will go through all the visible details on the outside, and will also show the high resolution photos from the press package, plus all the information I received during the interview from the designers, but the full blown review and the detailed test will only come on the 16th of July. I hope this won't disappoint you, and at the end of the video you will give it a thumbs up, and if you don't want to miss those reviews, then I really suggest to subscribe and also tap the notification bell. Now, let's start with the tow truck. The set is designed by Marcus Kosman, and it has pneumatic functions which we did not see in a Technic set since the 42080 Forest Harvester in 2018. As you see, this is an American style tow truck with some really vibrant colors, not a conventional truck livery, but I really like it. It is 58 cm long, so it's only 8 cm shorter than the great ancestor, the A285 tow truck. The set has one large 11 module long pneumatic pump which only appeared so far in the 42053 Volvo set, it is located behind the cabin. It has one regular V2 pneumatic cylinder and two thin ones. These only appeared so far in the 42043 Mercedes Aerox set and they are very pricey on the secondary market, so hopefully their reappearance will change this. We also have two of the new style valves or switches. This is their second appearance after the Forest Harvester. Pneumatic functions involve the height control and the extension of the boom, and also the deployment of the towing mechanism at the rear. There are also knobs on the side for some manual functions. The first one on the left side can raise and lower the towing arm. The second one can raise and lower the third axle at the rear. The first knob on the right side deploys the outriggers. There are two on the sides and two at the rear. The ones on the side are using these small linear actuators. The rear ones have a more limited movement range than the side ones, but they are synchronized with each other. The second knob on the right rotates the crane. The two hooks on the crane can be operated separately with the knobs on each side of the crane. There's a ratchet mechanism holding the hooks. The bonnet is also openable. There's an inline six cylinder engine underneath with some additional brick build details. We also have openable doors and hand of gut steering using a knob on the top of the cabin. So, as you see, it has tons of playable functions. I really can't wait to build it and share all the details with you. Only one small disappointment. Based on the photos in the Japanese catalog, we previously thought that we might get a new pneumatic tank on the sides, but unfortunately it is visible now that these are only a stack of beams. Here's one interesting addition. LEGO included this early development photo of the set in the press package. You might remember seeing it as a leak before. It's interesting to see the early placeholder stickers, but apparently this model did not change much between the two photos. So, let's see the Mercedes. This one actually changed a lot, but more about this a bit later. This is a remote-controlled model designed by Milan. I thought this was actually his first motorized set, but as he told me he also designed the 42065 RC Track Racer, so this is his first official set with powered-up electronics. The vehicle looks awesome, and as a trial truck it has plenty of stickers. It has one Technic hub inside with four ports, three large motors, and one medium motor which is actually the first appearance of this motor in a Technic set. Two large motors are used in the drivetrain, and they are actually hard coupled which is a first in an official Technic set. Another first in an official set feature is the remote control differential lock. It uses the medium motor to lock the central and the rear differentials. It's quite interesting to see this motor being used for such function, as it has no encoder, but as Milan mentioned, there are built-in clutches for the protection, so no calibration or position information is required for the motor used here. The third large motor is used for steering, as we saw in the previous Control Plus branded Technic sets. It is officially controlled by a profile in the Control Plus app, but I'm sure I will try some alternative ways as well. The length of the truck is 48 cm, which is the same as the Technic Ferrari 488, although the proportions are very different. 
About the visual details, the model is based on the facelifted version of the Zetros that was introduced recently. There's an openable bonnet with some brick built engine details inside. We can see a spinning radiator fan there, although I'm not sure if it has a functional fake engine. The door is open as well, it has a detailed cabin, and the latch can be opened at the back to get a sneak peek of the gearbox mechanism inside. By gearbox I mean the assembly that controls the differential locks, there's no confirmation of having an actual gearbox for the drivetrain. There are also two fire extinguishers, an air snorkel at the front, and also a cute little rubber duck. Additionally we get some flags on poles as well for the truck trial experience. The truck has full suspension with live axles on the front and at the back. The ground clearance is not the greatest, but the wheel size had to be proportional to the real thing. Of course, we will be free to try bigger wheels. Talking about the wheels, the set has a brand new tractor tire size. The diameter is 81mm and it fits between the 56mm one that we got on the Jeep Wrangler this year and the 107mm one from the Zerion or the 4x4 Extreme Offroader. I'm sure a lot of people will like this new one and it will be used in a lot of tractor mocks and other cool builds. There are some other new parts as well, such as the flip-flop beams that were introduced in the off-road buggy. That one was 15 modules long, the new ones in this set that also appear in the tow truck by the way are 11 modules long. There's also another brand new piece that is not really visible on any of the photos. The best shot is this one, but it's only a part of it. I tried to replicate it for you with my own pieces. This is a CV joint similar to the one we got in the 4x4 Extreme Offroader, but with a 2 module long extended tube that has no friction inside. Essentially, this is a longer heavy duty version of the old steering CV joint that also had a frictionless tube. A very exciting new part that will allow some cool new builds for sure. There are also some pieces in new colors, mostly dark bluish gray, like the smaller 3x7 panel, the 3x2 panel extension piece and the toggle joint. The 11 module beam will be new in bright green as well, and the set has a round piece with the Mercedes logo print. And another interesting change in part design, here you can see the Technic 4 port hub, and there's nothing exciting on it for the first sight, but let's zoom in. Yeah, those are screws. As you know, the Technic hub as we know it today does not have screws. It has a simple mechanism to open and close the battery compartment, and it works pretty well. At least I did not see any disadvantages so far, it never opened accidentally. Additionally, in the case of the Mercedes, it is located behind the cabin, so there's no risk of anything falling out, so this design change might not be restricted to this set. It certainly makes the quick battery change much less quicker for sure. I will try to reach out to the powered up team to see what is the reason for this change. About the performance of the truck, I cannot show it to you yet unfortunately, but I saw it running and I can tell you that this drawing on the box and this press photo here is no joke. This truck can climb such ramp and I will surely test its limits in my review video. So about the photo of the Mercedes that we could see months ago and it had a very different design and a 6x6 configuration. I asked Milan about it and he said that changes sometimes occur during the development, even major ones. They constantly optimize the model for the best play experience possible and the version we see as the final product is the one that can ensure that. Here are a few extra shots with some details. Let me know in the comments if you discover anything exciting. Both sets are scheduled to be launched on the 1st of August. The tow truck has 2017 pieces, the Mercedes Zatros has 2110 pieces. You can see the official prices on the screen for both. I think the tow truck is pretty fairly priced considering the size and the amount of functions. We will see during the tests if the Zatros can justify the doubled price tag compared to the tow truck. So that was my quick preview of these two exciting sets. Now I will start building them and prepare the detailed building review and tests. Let me know in the comments what do you think about them so far and please share if you want me to show any particular details in the upcoming videos. See you next time, bye bye.